Krishna, I am going to start the chapter Avaris. So, today I am going to start this new chapter Avaris. So, Avaris means a number expressing the central or typical value in a set of data. Let us start with some examples. So, suppose you are given a set of data and the set of data is a bus can a bus travel five kilometer in first in the first hour. Four kilometer in the second hour and twelve kilometer in the third hour. So, if you are asked to find the average of the given data, average of what is the if you ask what is the average speed per hour, average speed per hour. So how we will find? We will find by adding the numbers and dividing the sum by the number of addends. So here the given numbers are 5, 4, 12. So we will add this 5, 4, 12 and we will divide this 5, 4, 12 by the number of addends. So how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3. So let us see. So we will add 5 kilometer plus 4 kilometer plus 12 kilometer and we will divide it by 3 because here how many addends are there there are 3 addends 1 2 3 means there are 3 numbers so 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 12 21 so 21 by 3 that is 7 kilometer per hour. So what is it average? So its average is average equal to 7 kilometer per hour. So this is how we can find the average by adding the numbers and adding the given data and dividing the sum by the number of data given. So, let us take some more examples. So, here I will write some temperature of two towns. So, you are, if you are asked to find, if you are asked to find which town has the, um, uh, what is the average temperature of the town? So, how we can find? I will write the temperature of two towns. So, which town has the greater average if you ask to find? So, first, first town. So, I will write the temperature of the first six days. So, this is first town. The first town, in the first town, the temperature of the first six days are Monday. 7 degrees centigrade Tuesday 9 degrees centigrade Wednesday 8 degrees centigrade Thursday 11 degrees centigrade Friday 6 degrees centigrade and Saturday it's 9 degrees centigrade. So, its average is 
so how we will find the average first we will add the temperature so by adding all this we will get 50 50 degree centigrade so how many add-ins are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now we will divide it by 6 to find its average so 50 we will divide it by 6 so 6 8 are 48 then 10 minus 8 2 so when we will replace here a decimal 1 0 will come here so 6 3 are 18 again 2 will come and since there is a um, decimal point here so again 1 0 will come so 6 3 are 18 and now again a 2 is left so this is how we can find the average so the average is equal to so the average of the town of the first town is the average temperature of town of, of the first town is average temperature is equal to 8.33 degree centigrade now we will find the average of the second town so the se so the town we has the given temperatures so let me write the temperatures the, the town second town temperature of the second second town so on Monday its temperature is 4 degree on Tuesday its temperature is 8 degree on Wednesday its temperature is 7 degree on Thursday its temperature is 10 degree on Friday its temperature is 11 degree and on Saturday its temperature is 30 degree now we will add the temperatures and after adding the temperature we will get 53 degree centigrade now we will find the find its average so how we can find the average we can find the average by uh, <coughs> by dividing the total by the number of addends one, how many addends are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this 53, we will divide by 6. Again, 6, 8, ja, 48. So, 13 minus 8, 5. So, and when we will put a decimal point here, we can write a 0 here. So, 6, 8, ja, 48. Then, 10 minus 8 2 again since there is a decimal here so where you can write a 0 then 6 3 are 18 and again a 2 will come now so the average of the uh, average of the second town is this is the this is the average of the first and the average of the second town is second Average of the second town is 8.83 degree centigrade. So which town has the greatest one? The town, the second town. So the second town has the average greater than the first one. This is how we can find the average of the numbers and if when the data are given. Now I will move on to exercise 24. So let exercise 24. 24 of your mathematics book. Check out exercise 24 of your mathematics book. A. 3, 4 and 5. 
so if you are asked to find the average of these three numbers so first we will add the numbers 3 plus 4 plus 5 and then we will divide the divided by the number of addends how many addends are here 1 2 3 so divided by 3 so 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 12 12 divided by 3 equal to 6 so the average of these numbers are 6 let us take more examples c 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 so first we will add the numbers 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 and we will divide it by the number of addends how many addends are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we will divide it by 6 so 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 equal to 6 plus 4 10 12 12 plus 8 20 26 2 2 3 4 5 6 66 so when we will divide 66 by 6 we will get 11 so the average of this six number is 11 this is how we can find the average of the numbers so now i'm going to start question number two of exercise 24 so the question is directed to find the average of first five odd numbers the Avaris of first five odd numbers. So the first five odd numbers are three, five, seven. 9 and 11. So how we will find the average? So first we will add the add these 5 numbers and divide it by 5. So 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 divided by 5. So 3 plus 5 8. 8 plus 7, 15. 15 plus 9, uh, 15 plus 9. 15 plus 9 equal to 26 and 26 plus 11 equal to 35. And that 35 we will divide it by 5 and which is equal to 35 divided by 5 equal to 7. So, the average of first 5 odd number is 7. So, everyone note down it in your copy. Then, I will move on to the sub question B. So, the second question is, find the average of first 10 counting numbers. The average of first 10 counting numbers so the average of first 10 counting numbers so the counting numbers are 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, by adding this first, first we will add the first, this, this counting numbers. 
then we will divide it by the number of addends so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and we will divide it by the num by the number of addends 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 and by adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 we will get 55 we will get what we will get 55 so when we will get 55 by adding 1 to 10 so that 55 we will divide it by 10 and this is equal to 5.5 so the average of the first 10 counting numbers is 5.5 next we will move on to question number this is sub question c so the sub question c it is given that the average of first five multiples of three the average of first five multiples of 3 so the first five multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 12 and 15 first we will add these numbers 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 and divide it by the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, how many numbers are here? 5 numbers. So, you divide by 5. So, 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 equal to 45. This 45, when it is divided by 5, it is equal to 9. So, the average of first 5 multiples of 3 is 9. Next, sub question D. The average of first five prime numbers. So the average of first five prime numbers. So the first five prime numbers are So the first five prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, and eleven. So, we will add these 5 prime numbers and divide it by the number by 5. 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 divided by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2 plus 5, uh, 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 equal to 28 so 28 divided by 5 so when we will divide 28 by 5 5 fives are 25 8 minus 5 3 so this 3 is not divisible by 5 so we will put a decimal point here and then 0 will come in this here so 5 6 are 30. So our answer is 5.6. So the average of first 5 prime numbers is 
point six. And this is how we can find the average of the given set of data. If the data is given, we can find the average. So how to find the average? We can find the average by adding the numbers and divide the sum by the number of add-ins. Hope you have understood the video well. Thank you.